Hello, everyone. Happy Sunday. I hope everyone is safe and doing well. Welcome to our HEOP webinar featuring myself and our HEOP liaison and coordinator and associate director at the College of Mount St. Vincent for admission, Ms. Chabeli Lahara. Without further ado, I'll get started by welcoming her with a soft introduction and then we'll move on to the presentation moving on. Chabeli. Hi, everyone. My name is Chabeli Lahara. I am the associate director for admissions at the College of Mount St. Vincent, also the higher education opportunity program liaison. So I am from the Bronx, native, went to college in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, a first generation student, very passionate about this program, and I'm super excited to be speaking to you all about what the program um, has to offer at the College of Mount St. Vincent. So there's a little bit about myself, a little bit about what I do um, at the College of Mount St. Vincent. I review all of the applications for the students that are applying from the Manhattan and the Bronx area, um, which I love because I was born and raised in New York City. So super excited to be with you guys today, and I'm going to take it back to Drew. Thank you very much, Chabeli. And just like she mentioned, we'll be going over everything that encompasses within the HEOB program. We do have one poll to get us started. We want to know where you guys are from. So I'm going to launch the poll right now and I'll give you about 30 seconds. Where are you from? Are you from the Bronx, Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island, Westchester, or Yonkers? You can fill that out now. And then once everyone has answered, appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you to our attendees for being here. Most of our students, about seven of you are from the Bronx, one of you from Manhattan, from Brooklyn. Westchester and Yonkers, thank you so much for letting us letting us know where you guys are from. It will help Chabeli in her presentation moving forward. And these are the results, as you see. And as we move on, uh, Chabeli will be doing a presentation on the HEOP. So the HEOP background and goals of the program, program requirements, eligibility, uh, both economically and academically, the application review process. And then we'll finish off with a question and answer feature myself and Chabeli. So starting from right now, you could drop in any question they have about the application process or about HEOP or about anything admissions related. And we'll get to those questions at the end of the webinar where I will filter the questions to Chabeli. Okay. And officially, before we get started, we have another poll. Uh, what academic program are you most interested in if you were to attend Mount St. Vincent? Okay. So this is the next poll. Are you interested in nursing? Are you interested in business, psychology, history? or another area of academics. Let us know. Thank you for filling out the polls. About two more of you, one more. One more, there we go. Thank you very much. And I'll show you guys the results. Okay, as you see here, most of you are interested in nursing, awesome business, psychology, and other. Okay, thank you very much for responding to those polls, appreciate it. Okay, and without further ado, I will welcome back the Associate Director for Admission and HEOP liaison, Ms. Chavali Dahara, for her presentation. Awesome. Thank you, Drew. So I'm going to quickly share my screen so that you can all see the lovely presentation I've prepared for all of you today. So as we've already stated, we're going to be presenting, well, I'm going to be presenting on the Arthur o Eve Higher Education Opportunity Program. Um, Andrew already indicated what we're going to go over, but let's do that again. So the HOP background and purpose, something that we're going to cover, program goals, how we accomplish those goals, program requirements, the step-by-step -step process, economic eligibility, and how to stand out throughout the process. And then at the end, we're going to take it back to Drew so that he can um, take over the questions and answers. So the HOP background and purpose, in May of 1969, an amendment was passed that allowed colleges like the College of Mount St. Vincent, so private institutions, to offer opportunity programs like the higher education opportunity program that we have. At other colleges, you may know them as EOP, SEEK, such as in the CUNY system, the SUNY system, and other private institutions like the Mount have an, a higher education opportunity program. There's about 50 of them. Um, that are private, 40 of them, I believe, that are in the SUNY and the CUNY system. But that amendment was passed, which allowed this program to be possible on our campus. The primary objective of the Arthur O'Eve Higher Education Opportunity Program is to help provide a broad range of services to New York State residents 
who, because of educational and economic circumstances, would otherwise be unable to attend a post-secondary educational institution. So what is the purpose of this, the goal of this program? So the program goal is to first provide access. We want to allow the student to first be able to step into our campus. So a lot of the students that are HEOP eligible, being academically ineligible for admissions through the regular process, are admissible through the HEOP program. So access first, allowing them to enter into our campus by admissions through the program, and then helping the students stay on campus, retaining those students through several programs that we have and several opportunities, which I'll go over in the next slide. So we wanna make sure that the students are on campus, stay on campus, and then the success would be helping these students graduate and of course succeed throughout their you know, throughout their life. So providing them with the skills and resources that they need to stay at the Mount, to succeed at the Mount, graduate and go above and beyond once they are off campus. So how do we accomplish these goals? Access, retention and success. So the first step is, of course, admitting the student to our campus if they meet the criteria. And then having the student attend our summer program that helps the students transition from high school to college and provides the students with the resources that they need to succeed throughout that first year. So the students take classes like English, management classes, so that the students can be very well prepared upon entering campus in the fall. So Four week summer program, mandatory, and it's mandatory no matter what HEOP, EOP, SEEK program you go to, because it's very beneficial for the students. Throughout the summer program, there's also tutoring available to support the students throughout the summertime. Once the student comes to campus, the support doesn't stop there. They not only receive a well rounded education, because the College of Mount St. Vincent believes in educating the student as a whole whole. They also receive tutoring. Tutoring is mandatory for students that first year. So they do receive one-on-one -on -one tutoring. There's group tutoring sessions, workshops available for the students. So advising, one-on-one -on -one advising. So not only do you have the regular advising uh, advisors that students have on our campus, you also have the HEOP staff that are helping you, working with you one-on-one. -on -one. So it's a very, every student has a different need. You know, you and I may not um, may not need the same things academically. So the advising team is there to help you meet your needs so that you can succeed on campus based on what you need. And then, of course, one of the great things about the program is not only do you receive the academic support, the tutoring, the um, the support academically, you also receive the financial support. So. Students at the College of Mount St. Vincent receive a full need financial aid packet. Important to note, the full need packet is with grants. Grants is money that you do not need to give back, as well as loans. So loans is money that you do need to get back. So that's the way that it's been established for the packages by the state. Sorry, you may hear my um, eight month old who just woke up from her nap in the background. She's the one crying there. Um, then the students also receive a stipend for books and supplies. And this is a commuter based program. So students that are part of the HEOP program commute to campus. So they receive a Metro card, a monthly Metro card for the time that they're in school to be able to commute to campus. So keep that in mind. You have to be at a commutable distance in order for you to be part of the HEOP program because that's why we have the Metro card available for students. So a lot of support, both financially and academically. So program requirements. The first requirement is you need to live in, in New York City because the program is a commutable, uh, you have to commute to campus in order to be part of the program and to be eligible for the program as well, just how the state mandates for the program for the College of Mount St. Vincent. You have to then apply for admissions and be selected um, to be part of the HEOP program, meet the economic eligibility. I'll go over what those what those criteria are. Meet the academic requirements. Have potential and motivation to succeed and drive 
throughout college. So normally the students that are part of the HOP program are students that through the regular admissions process would not be considered admissible. So these are students that are academically disadvantaged. So you have to be motivated, be driven. We, you're, you know, we have to see that. We see that normally through the interview so that we can help you and feel like you would be the best candidate for this program and that not only are we, you know, taking it, taking you on, but you are also, of course, going to take advantage of every single resource that is being thrown at you to help you succeed and get a career after the College of Mount St. Vincent. And then, of course, one of the main program requirements, which I already went through, what is the summer program. It's important for you to attend. Sometimes you may have a vacation scheduled that month. You know, we can't do anything. You have to be you have to come to the summer program in order for you to be eligible to come in as an HOP student in the fall. So the process step by step, I'm going to take you guys one through five. Um, first, apply to CMSB. Submit your application and indicate that you are interested in being considered for the HOP program. That's a first step. Once I review your application and see that you meet the academic requirements, the process continues. So I receive your application. You indicate that you're interested in HOP. What do we look at academically? You have to be between a 75 and a 79 recalculated GPA. What does a recalculate, re recalculated GPA look like? So we look at your main subject classes like math, English, science, taking away those classes like gym and looking at those standard classes that you have to take in high school that are essential. Not that gym is not essential, but we look at those main core requirements that you take, in, take throughout high school and we recalculate your GPA. Some of the times that boosts your GPA, sometimes it lowers it a little bit. So keep in mind, even though you have a 73, you can still indicate that you're interested in the HOP program because you do not know if once I recalculate that GPA, you may be in another academic bracket. So you first have to meet that criteria. If you meet that criteria, you're going to receive a, an HEOP referral. That HEOP referral is going to indicate that you have to submit financial documents be, because you have met the requirements academically. So now we have to screen you financially. So you have to submit financial documents that someone in the financial aid office is going to evaluate. She is amazing. Her name is Crystal. She currently works with me and she is great at what she does and she'll work with you and of course, with we'll, I'll work with you as well to make sure that you that we get all the documents that we need to screen you financially. So we're going to go through in the next slide what those financial documents are and you know whether or not you may meet those criteria. So you submit the financial documents. Please submit them as soon as you can once you get that referral because a lot of the times students fall in the process because they don't submit these requirements. And I'll give you two weeks to submit everything that I need to be able to screen you financially, sometimes even more than two weeks. But keep in mind, we have to continue reviewing students and we only have 50 spots every year for this program. So if I don't if I give you all the time in the world, which I wish I could give you, then I may be holding off another student that can submit everything, you know, quickly respond to my emails, be as responsive as possible. So once you submit the financial documents, if you are financially eligible, you will be asked to come in for an interview with the HOP staff. That may be virtually because of, because of this pandemic situation that we're all living through. Hopefully it is not, but if the pandemic is gone, you'll come to campus and you'll interview with our lovely HOP staff. If the pandemic you know, hasn't disappeared, then we'll do the interview virtually for you. So interview, don't be nervous. The whole idea is to get to know you, get to see that you're motivated and driven to form part of this program and that you're going to take advantage of all the resources that we have available for you. Once you come in for the interview, which I know you guys are all going to do great in, then you will receive notification and you will make the decision as to whether or not you want to join us for the HOP program and at the lovely College of Mount St. Vincent. So that is the process step by step. 
Economic eligibility. So what financial documents am I looking for to be able to screen you financially? So first you have to submit a signed copy of the prior New York, the prior year of your New York state tax return. So it has to be for this year, 2019, a signed copy of the 1040 used to complete the FAFSA and a copy of the prior year IRS tax transcript. Why do we ask for a tax transcript? So a lot of the times the students that are Pell eligible are, are asked to complete a verification for the federal government once they complete the FAFSA. So if you're asked to verify everything that you submitted through the FAFSA, they normally ask for an IRS tax, tax transcript. So I asked for it because the majority of the time you will have to submit one anyway. So I want to have it as early as possible so that we don't have to continue to bug you for any other documents. And then, of course, every student that's applying to HEOP has to complete the FAFSA. The FAFSA opened October 1st, so you have time, more than enough time from here to, to the end of the year, well, till next year to complete the FAFSA. So complete that. You have to complete it for other schools as well. It's just required. And of course, you also have to submit a TAP application, which is the New York State Tuition Assistance Program, because these all um, lead way into the financial packet that you'll be receiving. So those are the documents that I request from you. Take a snippet, but you'll be receiving um, communication from me once and if you meet the academic requirements to submit these documents. So I'm not gonna go over everything on this slide, but I wanted to kind of give you guys an idea as to how we look at whether or not you, you meet the economic requirements. Keep in mind, don't make assumptions yourself and don't think that once you look at this chart, oh my, I don't meet the requirements. You know, speak to me if you have any questions privately. You know, you can call, you can email me at the end, we'll provide um, my contact information. So this is just so that you guys can get an idea, but there are certain exceptions to, to this chart. So keep that in mind. So for example, I'm just gonna take one example so that I can help you understand this chart. So. We go through family members in the household one through eight. So everybody has a different circumstance at home. So if in the household there are three people living, such as mom, dad, and yourself, the family cannot make more than 40,182. So mom and dad's income cannot be not a dollar more because they're very strict with this than that amount. If it is more than that amount, you are considered ineligible for the HEOP program. Like I stated, there are some exceptions, such as if the, if the family is receiving public assistance, if um, the student is living with a, fo a foster family and their, you know, their parents aren't going to be helping them financially. So it's on a case by case basis, but these criteria are very strict. So when I say not even a dollar more, it's very hard for me who's reviewing a student and know that they're not 40,100 their their income is 40,183 and they're just a dollar away from being able to be economically eligible for this program it breaks my heart but keep in mind these are standards that are set up by the state not by us so i just wanted to, you guys to have a picture as to what this looks like but there are exceptions so lastly how to stand out throughout the process. I kind of gave you guys snippets here and there as to how you could stand out. So I just wanted to remind you, first is indicating on your application and not forgetting to indicate, clicking that button. Yes, I am interested in the higher education opportunity program. Then submitting all of those financial documents. A lot of students fall through the cracks because they don't submit the documents. And if you don't submit them by when I ask and once I give you two weeks and I've constantly contacted you and I received nothing, then I will move you into the regular admissions pool and you won't be considered for the HOP program any longer. And then attending the HOP interview and of course showing that motivation and that drive. This program is meant to help students who could succeed, have that motivation, and that we can help so that they can graduate and succeed not only at, only at the Mount, but beyond Mount St. Vincent. So that's my lovely presentation. I hope it's been as informative as I wanted it to be. And now I'll take it back to Drew so that he can lead the Q&A. 
Thank you very much, Chabelli, for that presentation. And like Chabelli mentioned, if you have any questions at all, please use the question and answer feature at the bottom of your screen. And we'll get started right now, Chabelli. Just to reiterate, how do you apply for admissions and when are, when are the deadlines for admissions as well? Awesome, great question. So we have two applications. You have the common application. So if you're applying for several to several colleges, that's a great application to go towards because it makes the process easier. If you're applying to colleges that require their specific application, then use our own application as well. So those are two ways to go about it. Um, on the application, you indicate, you know, there's a tab, but we have buttons where you can indicate, yes, I'm interested in applying to the higher education opportunity program. So read thoroughly through your application. Deadline wise, we have extended our early action deadline. Early action is non-binding. It just means that you can receive your decision early. That um, deadline has been extended to December 1st. So if you're interested in applying, um, you can apply now and receive your decision before the holidays. And for the HOP process, however, remember, it's a little different because there's several process. Um, it's, it's a specific process, sorry. So you won't get your decision until you meet all those requirements that I just stated and until we screen you. So the quicker you are with me, the quicker I am getting you a decision. And our regular decision, we don't have a deadline because we're a rolling um, decision institution. We have a hard deadline of March 1st, and that's what we would like or when we would like to get all of our applications, but we still receive applications past the May 1st deadline. May 1st is when you have to state to institutions whether or not you'll be attending. So we still receive applications even after then. Thank you, Chabelli. And with HEOP being a community-based program, can you talk about the possibilities to get involved in student life on campus? So great question. So. We have a lot of students that commute that are not part of the HOP program and that are part of the HOP program and a lot of students that live on campus as well. So it doesn't, the fact that you commute doesn't mean that you can engage in the campus and immerse yourself in everything that the campus has to offer. So as a commuter student, of course, we ask and with the help of the HOP office that you involve yourself as much as possible. And that goes for whatever college you apply for. You can still partake in clubs, um, still partake in, you know, the tutoring sessions, the events that are on campus. So there's just so much that is offered to you as a student, whether you're a commuter and a residential student. There is also a um, commuter program for students that commute to campus that helps students engage on our, in our campus environment, even as a commuter student. So we have several events, several clubs, several internship and job opportunities, all so that you can immerse yourself on campus, off campus, whether you're a commuter or not. And something that I always state to students, to my students specifically is, you know, even though you're a commuter student, don't feel like you have to come to campus, take classes, you know, engage with the HEOP office and then leave. No, no matter where you go, you should, and if you commute, even if you attend CUNY, SUNY, take advantage of everything that's available club-wise, organization-wise. You know, I have students that commute to campus. Um, one of them is HEO, sorry, one of them is an HOP student and one of them is a commuter who's not an HOP student. And they're both tour guides. They work on, they work in the office. They also um, partake in several clubs and organizations. So there, there's just so much. And Drew's showing you through the slides here, some of our, um, clubs and our service hours that we do every year, which is amazing. And then of course, the study abroad programs that we have. So there's so much at the College of Mount St. Vincent. It's just a matter of you taking that little step. And of course, the HOP staff is going to push you to get as involved as possible. Thank you, Trebelli. And uh, one of our next questions is, can we dorm with the HOP? So, as I stated, it is a commuter-based program. However, you know, we do understand that sometimes students want to live on campus. Keep in mind, if you decide to live on campus, you will not be provided that Metro card. It's not recommended for you to live on campus. But if you do decide this is the only way that I can attend Mount St. Vincent, et cetera, you do have to cover the full cost of living. The full cost of living is $12,000. So keep that in mind if you are considering living on campus. 
this is meant the this program is meant for students that are economically disadvantaged and who are going to commute to campus which is why it's set up that way and why we try to always um, express to students that that's what they should do but of course our hands are tied if you want to live on campus and experience the campus as a residential student it's just the cost you have to cover the cost yourself you won't get, get any assistance when it comes down to living on campus thank you Jabelli. and our next question is if a student already applied through our All Dreams Welcome application and they also selected HOP, where can they send their college essay? So you can email me your essay and I'll add it to your application. Um, that's one way. Normally through our app, our own application, you can submit the essay through the application, but if you weren't able to do that, just email it to me and I'll add it to your application. Same goes for letters of recommendation. Perfect. Thank you, Chabelli. And another question is, during this whole pandemic, Mount St. Vincent has decided to be on campus in person. Can you talk about how students have been supported both on campus and the transition to remote learning now? Okay, so that's a great question. So we were doing great um, with having our students on campus. You know, we were being safe. We had um, COVID test screenings. So every morning people had to take a, a, um, a quiz like a little quiz stating um, you know, how they were feeling, whether they had been in contact with anybody. So that was one of the ways that the HR office approached, you know, making sure that everyone was safe on campus and the students, you know, we set up classes um, at a socially distant, in a socially distanced way, clubs were meeting socially distanced, um, sports were, ha um, you know, still practicing on campus at a, in a socially distanced way. So students were supported in several ways by professors, faculty, and we were also very well prepared to receive students on our campus. Now that we have gone online, the students continue to receive those support services. Not if we're talking about HOP specifically, the HOP counselors are meeting with the students one-on-one -on -one virtually. You know, they're still setting up those tutoring sessions and those workshops and those events work, um, virtually. It is very difficult because our students love, love, love to be on campus, which is why we decided to open in the first place. But we are working with the students, making sure that they're okay, checking up on them. Some of our events are being hosted virtually as well, all to keep the students engaged. So even though we're not on campus, we try to have as much available to students virtually so that their experience can still be as enriching as possible. And we still have some students on campus as well who will be staying with us through the holidays because they can't get home or because they decided to stay on campus but still take their classes remotely. But we, we're trying our best and we, we better ourselves every day and we learn something new every single day. Thank you for that, Trebelli. And another question, as we begin to wrap up, if you have any last minute questions, please put them down in the question and answer feature. We'll also have Trebelli's contact information shared towards the end of this presentation. Trebelli, next question is, if a student already applied through the common application, also early action, where can they submit their HEOP application and when as well? So if you already applied and you didn't indicate on the application that you're interested in HEOP, send me an email so that I can switch you over to a student that's interested in HEOP. So the process starts, as I stated, by indicating first that you're interested in the HEOP program. And then I'll, if you meet the academic requirements, I'll ask you for those financial documents. So applying to HEOP is only indicating on your application whether or not you're interested in the program. That's all I need first. And then I'll request everything else later on. Perfect. Thank you very much, Chabelli. And as we end up and wrap up this webinar, Chabelli, if you could just say your contact information for everyone to write it down, and then we'll move on to the campus tour that I'll show all of you guys. Awesome, of course. So my email is Chabelli, C-H-A-B as in boy, E-L-I dot L-A-J-A-R-A at mountsaintvincent.edu, Mount St. Vincent, all spelled out. My phone number is 718-405-3781. Always email first. Um, I'll take a couple of days to respond sometimes, but I'll try my best to respond as quickly as possible. If you call, please, 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 please leave a voicemail. I'll respond back to you and I'll call you back if I don't pick up. 
but I always try to be at my desk. Thank you very much, Trebelli. What was your phone number one more time? 718-405-37. So there. 37, what else? 3781. Perfect. Thank you. And with that, everyone, thank you very much for attending our HOP virtual webinar. Uh, my name is Andrew Creel, and we are welcomed by Chabeli Lahara, the Associate Director for Admission and HEOP Liaison. We're going to show you a campus tour right now that was made by our college, just to get a little bit of a sense of what our campus looks like if you haven't visited our campus. You can also check us out on YouTube with tons of content of Days in the Life, virtual tours, and much more. St. Vincent is known for its wide variety of majors, proximity to New York City, diversity among students, faculty, and staff, and most importantly, it's where all dreams are welcome. But one of the best and most underrated aspects of the Mount is the picturesque views of campus. Come take a look. And to everyone, thank you for watching our virtual tour here at the College of Mount St. Vincent. Uh, to all those who may be watching this on replay on YouTube or on Instagram, feel free to click the links in our description below to stay in contact with us and to see more content that will be rolling out in the coming months ahead. And to everyone else, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a happy Thanksgiving. See, see you, everybody.